superficial muscles of the hand. Palmaris brevis originates at the flexor retinaculum and central part of the palmar aponeurosis. It is inserted onto the dermis on the ulnar border of the palm. It elevates and tenses the hypothenar eminence, thereby increasing grip power, and is innervated by the superficial branch of the ulnar nerve. Thenar eminence comprises of three muscles, abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, and opponens pollicis. Abductor pollicis brevis originates at the flexor retinaculum, tubercles of the scaphoid, and trapezium. It is inserted on the radial side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb and partly into the extensor pollicis longus tendon. Its action is abduction of the thumb and it is innervated by the recurrent branch of the median nerve. Flexor pollicis brevis Origin The superficial head originates at the distal border of the flexor retinaculum and the deep head at the trapezoid and capitate bones. It is inserted at the radial sesamoid bone of the thumb and the radial border of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. It causes flexion of the carpometacarpal and metacarpophalangeal joints of the thumb. The superficial head is innervated by the recurrent branch of the median nerve and the deep head is innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. Opponent's pollicis originates at the flexor retinaculum and the crest of the trapezium. It is inserted at the lateral half of the palmar surface of the shaft of the first metacarpal bone. It medially rotates and flexes carpometacarpal joint of the thumb. It is innervated by the recurrent branch of the median nerve. The hypothenar eminence comprises of three muscles, abductor digiti minimi, flexor digiti minimi brevis, opponens digiti minimi. Abductor digiti minimi originates at the pisiform bone, tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris, and pisohamate ligament. It is inserted by two slips. One slip is inserted onto the ulnar side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the little finger. The other slip joins the dorsal digital expansion. It flexes and abducts the metacarpophalangeal joint of the digit 5. It is innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. Flexor digiti minimi brevis originates at the hamate bone and the flexor retinaculum and is inserted onto the ulnar side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the little finger. It flexes the metacarpophalangeal joint of digit 5. It is innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. Opponents digiti minimi originates at the hook of the hamate and flexor retinaculum. It is inserted on the ulnar side of the palmar surface of the shaft of the fifth metacarpal bone. It laterally rotates and flexes carpometacarpal joint of digit 5 and also causes opposition of the tip of the little finger with the tip of the thumb and deepens the hollow of the palm. It is innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. Palmar aponeurosis is deep fascia that covers the long flexor tendons and superficial palmar arch in the palm. It consists of three parts. Central part is thick and is the palmar aponeurosis proper. Lateral part is thin and covers the thenar muscles. Medial part is also thin and it covers the hypothenar muscles. It is continuous with the deep fascia of the dorsum of the hand at the radial and ulnar margins of the palm. The central part is triangular with the apex directed proximally where it blends with the flexor retinaculum and palmaris longus tendon. At the base of the digits, it divides into four digital slips. It provides the following functions. Firm attachment to skin improving the grip, protection of palmar nerves and vessels, origin to the palmaris brevis, prevention of the bow stringing of flexor tendons, and division of the palm into potential spaces. A point to be noted here is that the thumb lacks a digital slip from the aponeurosis to allow free movement of the thumb. Clinical correlate. Duputrian's contracture is a contracture that occurs due to chronic inflammation of the palmar aponeurosis. 
As a result of inflammation and thickening, there is a flexion deformity of the proximal and middle phalanges as the palmar fascia is attached to them. The terminal phalanges remain unaffected and the ring finger is more commonly involved than the middle and little fingers. It is more common in the middle-aged males.